Now the Mocha adapter, as I stated, is a device that you put on the side, an MOCA adapter that you're going to put on the, you have the cable coming into it, and you got the Ethernet that'll be coming out of it, plus you have the, where you plug it in at. But this is, we're taking advantage of the coax cable that's already in the house. So I can have a connection from the modem up on the line through the, through the cable into my router. And then from there, I can uh, have my signal going out, which I can have it in a higher part of the house and stuck in the basement. But what the neat part of about the Mocha is, is it, like I said, it's a high-speed connection using the coax. You want it to be a dead coax. As I stated, that um, I've seen uh, people with a... When they were reviewing Mocha adapters where they gave the cycle one, they were saying there's no magic. They couldn't figure out how to do it. Their cable's all hooked up, and they could take advantage of it, and they couldn't understand why. The thing is, it has to be a dead cable. As I showed you, for the basement, you got to unconnect it from what's ever feeding it from that modem and just have it with the connections that are in the rest of the house. So you want this to be on a dead cable, feeding the rest of the cables in your house, that do not have any signal coming from uh, your ISP or anything else. Disconnect that cable. So all you do is have this giving the signal through the coax cable through your house. Then you can have you have to have one of these devices on the other end to accept the uh, signal from the other MOCA adapter, and then you can have this going to uh, a router a modem game station, a TV, or whatever you got hooked up that can take on the Ethernet, or you got the even the coax cable that an older TV set. But the thing works great. It has very high speed. Uh, do a speed test. It's no different than when it's hooked up right to a, the cable modem in the basement. So uh, these things are a good way to take advantage of coax cable that you have ran through your house that you do not have to run Ethernet through all the walls and everything else that you need to do. So this is a, a good device for that. Uh, like I said, the, the brand I bought was the, the Hitron, and I liked it. It worked good, so the other device I bought was Hitron, and take it from that. Uh, the cable modem, uh, it's a modem slash router, it does have a, uh, where you can put the... Uh, mocha on it it's the technicolor router it turned the mocha on but the weird thing i found is when i did that it would reset to factory settings and i'd have to redo the whole cable modem just to be able to use it again which i'm not going to go through so i'm just using the hitron hook to the old cable ethernet connection to the isp modem so that's i could just be me but just one thing to think about when you're doing it that you might not want to turn the Mocha adapter on the actual modem itself. It did work fine, except if you try to reboot or anything like that, then it resets back to the factory settings. And that is something that um, I don't want to keep playing with. So I just hooked the Mocha adapter in the basement on the old cable, feeding the rest of the house, and the Ethernet going to the ISP's modem. But I've it works great. Just if it, it's a... Give you an alternative to instead of running Ethernet through the house, especially if you have an older house that already is wired with coax. This is something that you would do to take advantage of it. Might as well. It's in the walls, and it works just as fast. Speed tests shown still uh, 100 something MIPS. Uh, well, with my service, it's about 110 MIPS uh, download and a 20 MIPS upload or something like that. But it was. It did good. I am very satisfied with it. So it's just an alternative that you might think of that you might want to use. Here's a Hitron Mocha adapter that just arrived today. So this is the one that's going to put into the, the cable box here. It is the adapter. So here, the cable line it's going to go to this one. This is an out one, but this is the in one. And here's your Ethernet connection, and there's your power connection. Small little box. Hook that to the cable. 
Comes with a power adapter. It does come with a Ethernet cable. And does come also with a coax cable if you need one. A lot of times people have played that once you had cable before. And here is our user guide. This is going to explain how you hook it up. It is pretty simple. And I show the activity. You got the blue lights there, you got the high speed, and that's what we want, especially if you have a high speed modem to get uh, your 100 gigs or more. This is the Hitron Mocha adapter, M O C A adapter, that lets you use your existing coax cable in if you had a house that had a previous cable to use that as your connection to your router and to an access point or to another uh, router from your modem which uh, your cable modem now it needs to be used without a it's uh, it's got to be a dead cable line more or less the only signal going to be passing through it is from your hitron moca adapter or mocha or however you want to call it this is the Hitron adapter. It's got the green light showing it's on, the two blue lights showing it is high speed connection. And as you can see, we got it connected to the cable. We got an ethernet cable that is running to the modem. And with that, like I said, a dead line is when I first took it up, the cable thing was right here. And that hooked to the cable into the house. So I removed that because you cannot have an active, you know, line coming from your modem. So I unhooked that, unhooked that, and then hooked this cable up, and it goes down to my Mocha adapter. So this allows it. Because I've seen somebody on a on a review of the Mocha saying that, you know, it was some type of magic coming to the house because the cable guy couldn't even help him install it. But mainly, you just got to disconnect the cable. Hook that to there. Now that's feeding every cable outlet throughout the house that I could hook another Mocha adapter to the other side. And that will allow me to hook up the router or an access point in other parts of the house or hook it directly to a gaming console or a TV. But uh, I'll show you the other end, but right here, this is down in the basement. So to get better access to the rest of the house, I'm going to have my other access point higher up. There's my great cable management. See, we have the MOCA adapter. It's hooked to the cable that was coming out of the floor that was used for TV years ago, but we haven't had that in a while. So I got the adapter. You see the far side there. I got the cable hooked in. I got the Ethernet connection. And we follow that up to the router. That is hooked to the ethernet connection. And I have other connections coming out of the router. But in this way, I get my connections through that Mocha adapter. And it's high speed. And I'm taking advantage of cable that has already made it through the house. I am very satisfied in using the MOCA adapters and using them and uh, it's doing fine this one here i got i'm going to be hooking up in another room hooking it to an access point in a different part of the house to just get the signal uh strong throughout the house and i so if you do got coax already in your house i would recommend this i do not know about the other brands i've been using hitron and it has been doing great for me so it's just an option, like I said, to think about. So you might want to em employ this in your home. It might help you. And I uh, thanks for watching. And I hope it works out for you if you take this route. Thank you very much.